Hey everybody, this is David from Blue Forest Films here, up here on our property in Northeast Minnesota, doing some camping and fishing with the family this weekend. If you're familiar with my channel and my fly fishing films, you've probably recognized the rafts that we use, uh, the Watermaster rafts, which I absolutely love. Been able to do so much on these rafts, getting into some really remote brook trout fishing water. You can sleep on them if you, uh, flip them upside down and, and rig up a little tarp overhead. Load them up, you can put a whole bunch of gear on it. Uh, my dog is sat in the back with me on many trips. Strapped a bike to the back, did some cross training, some rafting, some biking, some fishing. Pretty much everything except for one thing and that has been to bring my three-year-old fishing. The raft has not been suitable for that up until now. And that is because we recently added the boat bottom. I'm super excited, so I'm gonna show you guys the setup. We're gonna get out on the water here and maybe catch some fish. What are we gonna to do today? No, 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 the picture! That's stupid! Dad's picture taking is stupid. We'll get him when he's not looking. All right, guys, uh, before you begin pumping, you're gonna to wanna to lay the raft in the boat bottom. Um, and there's two holes in the front and back. Just make sure you get your D-rings through there, clip them in, and then you're good to go. And you just pump away. Right calf, left calf. We don't want lopsided calves. Go ahead, buddy. Sometimes you gotta bring in the reserves. Pump away, bud. Let's see those muscles. Oh, dragonfly. See, we only blew up half of it, so now I have to move the hose to the other side. You think Lenny's gonna come with us too? No. no? Well, she can go in the back. Sweating already, Leo. Come over here. Come over by Aaron and Lenny, between Aaron and Lenny. How's it feel? Good. Lenny? No, just you and Lenny. No, I'm coming. Do you want me to come? Okay. Why, why do this say um, me and Lenny? Well, I was joking. Wait, why did you add something there? You did? The bobber went right here. The bobber went down? I'll get you closer. Okay, remember, you watch your back cast. So look behind you before you cast. Okay, go ahead. Ooh, it's windy, huh? You couldn't get one on the top water, Leo? Oh, oh there was a big fish in one of those lily pads, bud. He missed it, though. Think he'll come back? Oh, do you see that, Leo? Yep, looks like it's tangled up a little bit. Now over the edge. Over the edge. What's that, bud? We're floating? Yep, I hope we're floating. Otherwise we're sinking. Fishing didn't yield much, but we're gonna cool off in the lake to end the day. <laughs> you don't have to, it's okay. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Um, just a little bit of context here. Um, I first got this raft probably about two or three months before my first son was born and just had an absolute blast on that trip. And after my son was born, I kept thinking and daydreaming about how cool it would be to have him sitting on the back of this raft, guiding him down a river, you know, fishing for smallmouth, whatever it might be. Um, but I also thought, you know, that day is going to be pretty far in the future when he can, he's big enough to swim well and 
um, and can sit still, you know, for, for a period of time. But then uh, the boat bottom came to my attention as, you know, a possibility and uh, reached out to the guys at Watermaster and made it happen. Um, so just, I'm just really, really excited now. Uh, it's opened up so many possibilities. Um, we have a little pond not too far from where we live that's public and we, we take the raft down there and search for turtles and stuff. So it's, it's amazing. Um, another note on Watermaster, they do sponsor um, a few of my films. Um, actually, a few of the very first fly fishing films that I've actually produced. And um, so I, I have a, a soft spot for them in that they've supported me as an artist, um, particularly in that some of these fly fishing films that I've made are a little bit different than what you're used to seeing in a fly fishing film where you're just seeing big fish, a lot of fish all day long. Um, not knocking that content because I can watch it all day long. <laughs> um, but I wanted to say, you know, as an artist, I, I, it's hard for me to create that sort of content. I, I, you know, I like to, to tell some deeper stories and um, they really supported me in that effort. Um, so if you haven't checked out some of those films, you can see the Water Masters in, in action, but also, you know, taking some pretty cool stories about some people that, that live uh, close to me here in Duluth, Minnesota. Um, so certainly check those out. Um, but um, thanks for watching and remember, you know, when it comes to kids and fishing, safety first, uh, life jackets, pinch those barbs and um, have fun.